Hey everybody, how's it going? Got a couple things to talk to you about Pokemon investing and show you a couple things. I uh, picked up one of these um, Salamence tins the other day. I got it for like, I don't know, like 25 bucks, something like that. It's pretty cheap. I'll uh, start with the small stuff first. I want to let you know these Salamence tins are smaller than the regular tins. In case you didn't realize that like look at the look at the size these have regular booster packs in them i'll show you what it says on the back see right there it has um four booster packs these have more booster packs in but they're the dollar store ones see right here they have 10 packs but they're only the three card packs so i bought this because i don't have a salamance tin and i thought it's pretty cool looking because Salamence is a pretty cool Pokemon. So, but I just want to let you know that these tins are way smaller. You know, they look, from this angle, they look the same. So they're misleading. But look at the thickness, you know. So that's what the Salamence tin looks like. Um, I just picked up one to have one. I mean, it's going to go up in value, just like all Pokemon stuff does. And then I picked up, <clears throat> I'll save the biggest one for last, which is next. I picked up another um, Detective Pikachu lunchbox. They have seven packs in them right there. See, so it says seven packs. These are going to go up. Um, I only own a couple of these because I've been buying the other um, the other lunchboxes. I think this cost me like $60, $60 with tax and shipping. They're not cheap. Um, but <laughs> there's not very many of these. These are drying up. Okay. So, and then... I got a surprise for you guys. Check this out. Look at that. That did not cost me $24.99. It cost me $714. It's worth like thousands. Um, seven hundred dollars with tax and shipping. Let me turn the light on here. First tin ever made. This is the first Pokemon tin that was ever made. It's got the three starters on there. I've been eyeing these for a while. This is the most expensive tin I ever bought, and they were always like very pricey. I paid six sixty by the time there was tax and, and shipping and everything was seven hundred and fourteen dollars. So this is a really nice condition tin. They're almost impossible to find with any dings on dings on. There's a small ding right here. I was looking at one one a while ago, it was it was eight hundred dollars had a ding right here on it, and the plastic was a little bit uh worse. There's only like like a little teeny nick here, as you can see. It's a very great very, very, very good condition. Here's the back of it. Um, you can see with the date on it, 2003. So this is the only one of these that I have. I mean, this is definitely a collector's piece. Uh, first tin ever made. These are going to go up in price. I mean, they're on eBay right now for two to three thousand dollars. So I got this one at a really, really good price. Basically, you know, it was a, it was an auction listing. So I basically stole it for that price by bidding. You know, and uh, speaking of tins. <coughs> I want to know what you guys think of these tins here. These um, Shiny Fates tins. I mean, they're basically like, if you want to get all three of them, you're looking at like $160. They're like $50 to $60 a piece. I've not bought any yet. <coughs> and um, I was wondering if anybody bought them at a re decent retail price. Because I think these tins, I think those, those tins should be the same price as these type of tins when they come out, maybe like 10, 20% more, not 100%. They're basically double the price that they should be. I mean, you should be able to get all three of these tins for like $80 and not 160. But because of the shiny fates is so, you know, in demand right now, these, these prices are scalping prices. I'm hoping they come down. I haven't bought any yet, but you know, put in your comments there. If anybody bought any, what was the re retail price? What was your prices that you got? Um, I mean, it's one of those things like, am I going to wait and find it cheaper later? Or am I going to wish I bought it now? That, that's what I've been thinking about, you know? Like, I lucked out with this, you know? Sometimes you can get lucky, you know? But don't don't count on, like, buying this 
a year from now for $700. It's probably not going to happen because people will bid past that a year from now. Remember I say don't wait. Waiting is like a bad idea when it comes to Pokemon because if you wait, you're just going to pay more. I mean, it's like, you know, 90% of the time, if you wait, you're going to pay more. There's only a small chance. I'd say it's even higher than 90%. And another thing, too, about Pokemon is um, Pokemon will outpace most people's savings. And what I mean by that is if you have something like, that's a good example, would be, let's just grab this booster box here. Uh, 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 Arceus booster box say a year ago you could pick this up for like two to three thousand dollars now it's double that just we'll just say two thousand a year ago it was two thousand and now it's four thousand so how long does it take you to save up two thousand dollars some people it might take almost a whole year to save it up because they have bills so pokemon has such a tremendous um like upswing in value, profit, whatever you want to call it, it will outpace most people's savings. And, you know, this is just one item. So, like, say you wanted to buy something that's that's cheaper, like this Shining Legends box that cost me $19, right? Now, let's say it's 100 Now, that's not much of a difference, right? So, you could actually save up enough money a year later and buy this for $100, right? But if you wanted to buy 10 of these... Or a combination of these and, and, and this and some other things. Pokemon is likely to outpace your savings. And what I mean by that is, is think about how much money you can save in a year. Okay? And be honest. Like how much money do you think you could save and just put into Pokemon? Just say, we'll pick a high number. Just say $5,000, right? Well... If you save five thousand dollars in one year, that means if you wait and buy something later, this is going to cost two thousand dollars of that five thousand. So you can only buy two of these boxes and maybe something else, and then and then you've spent all your savings. So if you're going to invest in a Pokemon, that's what I did. I put a whole bunch of money a year ago into this hobby, okay, and that and that money has all gone up. <coughs> so what I'm trying to say is you're better off picking a point in time. And if, if you believe Pokemon's going to go up in money, in, in investment, put a bunch of money in right then and there. Because if you wait and, and save up money and then put it in a Pokemon, Pokemon will outpace your savings. So you're better off, like I said, putting a bunch of money in as early as, as possible to maximize the money that's going to grow over time. Uh, it's hard to explain what I'm talking about. I hope you get it. But anyway, that's what I was trying to say about Pokemon. Will outpace most people's savings. Now, if you're somebody that could save... Say you could save $50,000 a year. Then you're in a different story, right? A lot of people cannot save that. I mean, I remember years ago. Like, say, 15, 20 years ago. I'd get out a clipboard and I'd write down my budget for the whole month. You know? Um, I'd just start writing down, like... You know, this is taxes, insurance, gas, electric, food, blah, blah, blah. And I have the total at the bottom. And then I'd have my income over here. And say my income was more money than my expenses, that would leave how much money I had saved. I would do that every month just to see where I was at. Now I don't have to worry about that, okay? Because my house and everything is paid off, so I have much more um, liquid assets, much more money that I can play with to invest into things like Pokemon. Anyway, I just want to let you know, <coughs> that's what I suggest, is putting money, if you're going to invest in, in Pokemon, put more money in initially, because you'll be thankful, because Pokemon is, is, it just goes up so fast, it will outpace your, um, outpace your savings. Another thing I was going to talk to you about before I uh, end this video is, um, <coughs> there's some reprint, reprint rumors, okay? Um, here's my opinion about the reprints. Anything that's hot, if it's reprinted, which is basically almost everything with Pokemon and booster packs and tins and stuff, if it, it it will sell out instantly, and there will only be a tiny price drop. Say on a um a five hundred dollar box, like let's, let's pick one out. Team up's more than five hundred dollars, but say this team up box was five hundred, and say they reprinted it. Okay, it's gonna drop down ten, maybe twenty percent if you get lucky. 
So say it goes from 500 to 450, then it's gonna sell, it's gonna sell out and the prices are gonna go right back up. And there's gonna be people buying it um, and they're gonna hold on to it and they're not even gonna sell it. So it's not even gonna hit the market because they're gonna wait for it to go up to $2,000 and sell it out. So if you think, if you, th if you think that um, they're gonna reprint some of the, some of these boxes, you know, and the price is gonna come down a lot, think again. It's gonna come down a small amount. We saw that with, um, <clears throat> this. I own a bunch of Ultra Prism. They reprinted it and it came down and it went right back up. Every box of Ultra Prism that I bought is worth a lot more than what I paid for it. And I bought some of the stuff that was reprinted, okay? That's a perfect example of how even reprint stuff goes up. Everything Pokemon is golden. That's why I put tens of thousands of dollars into Pokemon. Everything that I bought, it, it, it's just like it's just it's it's shocking how much this stuff has gone up in in a short amount of time. If you watch my videos, you can see you, you go back and look at my videos from six months ago, and I'll talk about you know a lunchbox or a booster box that I've got, and then see what it's worth now. Everything has gone up. Some things have gone up a lot more than others. It just depends, you know. So anyway, give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Talk to you later. Oh, you want to see this one more time? Okay. Isn't that cool?